Hey folks, thanks for joining me on High Skier Reviews. Once again, I'm Lou Thomas, and thank you so much for joining me. Hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, bring you a whole bunch of car reviews and some more modifications on the C8 Corvette and some other cars or trucks, whatever I get along. So anyway, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the grill inserts, the uh, radiator intake grills, basically, or the uh, you know engine kind of nacelle, I guess you could call it, type grill covers. And these are from Extreme Online Store, and obviously they come two in a pack. Uh, they're going to run you about 60 bucks or so, and this is kind of what they look like when you get it. Uh, we're going to install it in here. There's a couple of tricks that you'll want to do to get them in there. Uh, the idea behind these is just to kind of stop like rocks from going in or leaves if you live in a real like wooded area where you drive through a lot of uh, you know roads with uh, leaves on the roads and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to install these in the C8 Corvette. I'm just going to do one side of it. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory as far as the other side. Once you get one in, you should be able to get the other in. Uh, they are a little bit tricky to get in, so like I said, I'll give you a couple of tricks, and let's get going. So as far as tools that you may need, you may just need an Allen key, just any old one, one that just fits into these uh, vents, and we're going to kind of pull it along with this. So grab yourself an Allen key, and one of the main tricks I found out is the plastic that they use on these are pretty rigid, right? So what I did is I just put on the heater vent, if you have like forced air or baseboard heat something that doesn't get too hot obviously where you're not going to melt it so don't put it on your, your fireplace stove or something but anyway you want to heat it up so it gets a lot of flexibility in it because we're going to be kind of working this into a pretty tight space and it's nice to have it nice and flexible so if you're in a colder climate like i am here in colorado where it's about you know, it's about 30 degrees out and it's snowing today uh, anyway just heat it up that way you resist the uh, chance of cracking these as you maneuver them around so like i said we're going to pop it in to the kind of the uh, rear intakes in here and i'll kind of show you how to do it all right folks so what i'm trying to show you here is uh, this is inside this uh, intake okay as far as the cooling intake so as you can see it does have a uh, cover going over a cooling fan that's right here but what you're trying to do with these is kind of prevent rocks from getting in kind of going through here or leaves like i said and kind of collecting in here or the kind of you know stuff that you don't really want in here so it's pretty much just kind of like a double fail safe system right uh, so what you want to do is we're going to put it behind this lip here if you can see this lip here and then these things here okay it's actually going to go in front of these and these little like uh air like i guess you could call them vein looking things it's actually going to go kind of behind these okay so it's going to be pushed out from here and then into this section here and then uh it's going to be kind of obvious once you look at it it's going to contour around and then come kind of towards the front of the car up here to a point and uh, this is the section where we're going to be trying to install it's so like i said in front of these uh kind of like i guess you'd say behind these and then behind this section over here so we'll give it a try uh one thing to note on the driver's side there's going to be like an assembly that's going to be up here somewhere uh it's kind of like a uh, just an electrical assembly and stuff uh, that's going to be a little bit of a pain to get around uh, but you can do it just work your way around it and like i said soften up those pieces before you try to install it makes it a lot easier but just remember there's going to be a section up here here we have like a grounding strap it looks like and some other stuff but we'll be able to work our way around that so that's what we're going for so let's give it a try all right folks so when you get this uh it's going to be obvious which side's going to be facing out one's kind of a finished side the other side's kind of a machine side so uh, like i said make sure you heat it up uh, you can protect this if you want put some uh, tape in here and stuff if you want to but what you're going to do is basically take it uh, it's going to have these little uh kind of like uh cutouts that go into these little nacelle type or the uh, little bumps in here uh it'll be kind of obvious as well so we're going to slide it in kind of big end in and there's a few different ways you can do it sorry about me getting in the way but i gotta see what i'm doing so we're going to slide it in i'm going to get it past this screw that's right here and then i'm going to push the panel or the uh insert kind of past these body panels like so and get it and this isn't the easiest thing to do i'm going to tell you and this is where sometimes the allen key can come in kind of handy for you so i'm going to get it past that i'm going to reach in i'm going to just really flex this piece around get this back in past this panel here and then i'm going to, have to pull the bottom out as well Oh. 
Alrighty, folks, so once you've done wrestled around with it enough, that's kind of what it's going to look like once you get it in there. So, uh, I mean, it fits in, does the job. Uh, there's going to be, sometimes you get some little, uh, like, kind of, I guess you call them tags on the end of these little honeycombs, basically, you know, where they, uh, where they cut them. Uh, you might want to kind of trim some of these off if you want to, just to make it a little bit neater inside there, but you don't need to since you can't even see them unless you're really getting down there. And uh, it's kind of hard to see. But there you go. But that's kind of what it looks like when it's all done. And now you've got some protection as far as rocks and all that kind of stuff going in there. I don't really like to use any zip ties. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, it isn't really a huge deal, even if this got like a ram through from a really big rock hitting it. You just have to kind of reach in and pull it back out again and reposition it. But uh, the chances of that happening are pretty slim to none. So that's what it looks like. And let me